I learned of the passing on of my predecessor, His Excellency Daniel Moy, with profound sense of loss. I take this opportunity to relay my heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Mzee Moy and Kenyans wherever they are. May the Almighty God grant Mzee's family the fortitude to endure the loss and courage to face the future fully emboldened by the counsel of a worthy patriarch. I have known Mzee Moy for decades and have worked with him for many years. I therefore have personal and nostalgic memories of Mzee Moy accruing from shared national platforms and responsibilities. Over time, I have had a chance to appreciate the best of Mzee Moy's statesmanship and skillfulness in the conduct of statecraft, both during the blissful as well as tumultuous moments that Kenya has traversed. With time, his mastery at thwarting crisis became legendary, as was his ability to assert state authority. That is largely how Kenya stabilized as a number of countries in the region and the continent suffered disruptions and long periods of civil unrest. Mzemoi will be remembered for his long public service spanning decades. First, as an educationist and then political leader, not just a politician. As early as 1955, when he was elected member of the Legislative Council representing the Rift Valley up to 1960, when he and the late Leonard Gala founded the Kenya African Democratic Union, Kandu. Moi was instrumental in the establishment of the political foundations of independent Kenya. As the political atmosphere in Kenya progressively underwent transformation, so did President Moi. To his credit, it is during his tenure as head of state when political pluralism was reinstated in Kenya. Clearly, the return of multipartism has opened up Kenya's democratic space in ways hitherto unimagined. President Moy's abiding charisma was best exhibited in the year 2002 when he oversaw an unprecedented smooth transition of power as he proceeded to his retirement. His willingness, his willingness to readily usher the next head of state remains a badge of honor on his leadership as well as statesmanship credentials. All his life, both in office and thereafter, as far as his